much. Um, Stephen, your GoPro like beeps and flashes and stuff. I think it might be dead. Oh no! Oh. I can... That's where Jen's work. I don't care about my presentation. It's already recording, so you know. One for you, Lynn. Okay. Going to be talking to us about um, Kanye West. <laughs> okay. Okay. When we're done with this, I will tell you about a Kanye West thing that's in a temple in uh, Thailand. Oh. <laughs> 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 to Kanye wants the idea, the art, and the dream. Uh, I'm, my name is Stephen Dong. I'm a PhD in Easy Studies. I know that a lot of you have a lot of preconceived ideas about what this presentation may or may not be about. So I'm going to tell you if you're right or wrong in these next few slides. So let's get started, shall we? This presentation is not a commercial. I'm not trying to sell you anything that you don't want to buy. It's not an excuse for inappropriate behavior, and it's not a clever plan to recruit you in my cult, but here's a link. If you're really interested, you can talk to me after. So, uh, what this presentation is, is a short biography and history of his life. It's towards the themes of Kanye West's music and his artistic style. It's an alternate perspective on one of the media's most polarizing figures, an homage to my favorite artists, and some of my opinions. You can agree with me, you don't have to agree with me, that's great. Uh, either way, we're going to have some fun today. So, um, the idea. Uh, uh, you probably feel strongly about Kanye West in some capacity, whether or not you like his music, whether you hate his music, uh, whether you like or dislike his presence in the media. Here's some pictures kind of summarizing the image given to you by the media. So relating this back to neuroscience is that somewhere in your head, or your brain per se, is the idea of Kanye West. This idea is projecting onto your emotional centers, i.e. your limbic system, your amygdala, making you feel upset, making you feel happy, making you feel high, which I feel right now. <laughs> We're not talking about Kanye West. So, uh, taking back to brands, uh, unfortunately you can't thrive off uh, talent alone in hip hop. You need to have a memorable image or persona, which Kanye West has. He's massive. I do some rappers on this slide who are very memorable, who are very talented as well, but you've probably seen them somewhere else besides rap. So, back to our hero. Uh, Kanye West, born in 1977 to Donna West and Ray West. Donna West is a university English professor. Ray West is a journalism, he's a journalist. Uh, he expressed an early interest in art, writing poetry at age five. He wrote his first graph at the age of 13. Uh, Kanye West then graduated high school. He received a scholarship to go to the Chicago American Academy of Art. Uh, he then transferred to Chicago State University to study English. Fortunately, this didn't work out for him either, so he dropped out to pursue his true passion with music. Uh, so he hit the road. He started making beats for local artists around Chicago. He gained notoriety and traction for producing beats for Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records, uh, leading him to produce some hit songs for Ludacris, Alicia Keys, Janet Jackson, uh, and also Ryan Carey. Uh, so, uh, Kanye West's rap career started after he got into a car accident. Because of this car accident, he needed to have reconstructive surgery in his jaw. His jaw was wired shut. This was an inspiration for his first single, Through the Wire, which he actually grabs with his jaw wired shut. You should check it out, it's great. It's fantastic. Okay, so bottom line, Kanye West is an artist. Uh, he takes his experiences, he takes his talents, his tools, he takes whatever he has, and he creates art with it. Uh, I'd say in some capacity, we're all artists. Like, we're all pieces of art, like taking like unique ideas and making them into something beautiful. Uh, so, uh, we're all scientists here, we love numbers, we love inductive reasoning. Kanye West has produced six platinum records, he's won 21 Grammy Awards, he sold over 30 million digital songs, and his latest LP is currently topping the Billboard Top 200. Uh, but why? Why does he have this kind of success? He has a very interesting and unique musical style, he takes lots of samples from a lot of different songs. This is controversial because I know people don't relate taking samples to playing an instrument, however, I beg to differ. I, I feel like it takes a certain kind of ear to take samples, to cut songs off, and put them together in a way that no one's ever heard before. Uh, when he's not sampling, he's collaborating with some of the biggest artists in the business, i.e. Paul McCartney, Daft Punk, Gil Scott Heron, and Chief Keef. So musicians and songs are just colors on his palette. Okay, so themes in Kanye West music. Depression, isolation, self-consciousness, loss, regret, hedonism, redemption. I felt these ways. Uh, you probably have too. Uh, Kanye West wrote 808 after his mother passed away. Uh, it was like losing an arm and a leg and trying to walk through that. Uh, this is a very raw person. So, back to the dream. Uh, 
stripping down the artist, stripping down the idea. This is a man that enjoys a simple pleasure. We can all enjoy simple pleasures. This man eating an ice cream cone. But he's a dreamer, he's a visionary, he's thinking all the time, he's doing stuff. But why are we listening to him in the first place? Because his success, his success in music, his success in fashion, his success in just getting himself out there, he built his podium. There's a reason we listen to him. There's a reason that he's so omnipresent in the media. And so, i.e., we've given him this podium to speak what he wants to say. So, he built his empire, he's a fashion line, he's a record label, uh, he's a co owner of Title, a music streaming service. And he might have an incoming presidential campaign coming up. I don't know. We'll see. Easy 2020. Um, okay, so a polarizing figure on Kanye West, Elon Musk. Kanye does think constantly about everything. And he wants everybody to do the same, to engage, to question, to push boundaries. Now that he's a pop culture juggernaut, he has a platform to achieve just that. So another polarizing figure on a polarizing figure in music, uh, Kanye West. Uh, if you're a fan of Kanye West music, you're not a fan of me, you're a fan of yourself. I'm a fan of Kanye West music. I'm a fan of myself. I'm a fan of all you beautiful people for coming to my presentation. So thank you very much.